Hey, welcome! Happy Halloween! Welcome! Happy spooky season! Woo. I'm Dar Harold. And I'm Cassandra Harold. And we are here with another recipe for you for this spooky season. Um, if you're having people over and you're entertaining, what's the talk lately, Cassandra? What is everybody so into? Gotta be charcuterie. It's charcuterie. Yeah, charcuterie where you could go to a restaurant and for $45, they'll give you a plate of meat, cheese, and veg. Guess what? You can make it at home. Guess what? Italians were doing that from the very beginning. It was called antipasto. But anyway, there's no mysticism. There's no, this is, it's charcuterie. There's no wrong way to do charcuterie. No, and it's like this, they're trying to make it like it's this big thing. It's simple. You, you do, you know how they say you do you boo? You do you boo. Do anything you want. Put on the board things that you like to eat. You don't even need a board. We happen to find a Halloween tomb board. Ooh. And we have some salad tongs that we found at Michael's. We got a little pumpkin. Yeah, go. Those are cute. We have like the little fake spiders. Anything to decorate it. Got a pumpkin, pumpkin plant, tree. A jack o' lantern but tree. Again, what? You can do as much or as little with this as you want. You Go could... to the Dollar Tree and see if you could find like a platter. A Halloween platter. If you don't want to use a plate, it doesn't matter. You can use a plate and put like fake spiders on it or whatever. It's just whatever simple. We're calling it shabooderie. <laughs> anyway, you'll see a bunch of Ooh. websites. Um, Everybody's got a take on this. Everyone. We're doing a savory one. People do dessert ones mm -hmm. too. You can do a really cool dessert um, Halloween one. They've got tons of things. Half the stuff we're making, you could put on here. I mean, one of the one of the other videos we're doing in this uh, series. series was a s'mores dip. Like you could just extend on that and make it part of Absolutely, your, good yeah. point, good point. Yeah. yeah, so you could just extend on that. You can, um, I mean, there are so many things. You don't even have to make things. You could just buy pre-made. You gotta put Boo Oreos, the Halloween Oreos yeah. on with a, but kids love that too. Anything sweet, make them make them a shabooterie board like that. Mm -hmm. But your imagination, it, it's whatever you want, whatever you like to eat, whatever you want to serve people. It's not fancy. It's just putting things on a board. But okay? like you said today, we went with the savory kind of We went of with route. savory. So, um, you know, if you're vegetarian, you don't have to put meat on the on there. Um, vegan, you can use vegan cheese. You can, you know. Customization. It's the what, nice thing about yes, it. Yes, yeah. And like I've said, it's what you like, what you enjoy. So we're going to try to make it look a little spooky. <laughs> um, I love doing boards. I think it's just fun, and I like how they look. I usually have a big cutting board that I use, but we thought we'd pare it down Yeah, we're showing bit. you two different two options, Two different options, too. yeah. So how spooky do you want to make it? So we have, like... The little olives with the pimento, so they kind of can look like eyes. Ooh. We put them in a little bowl. You put it there. Um, little mandarin orange. Peel it. Get a little mini pepper. Pull the stem out. You could put that in there. You've made little pumpkins that you could put on your all board. Around. You could put them all around. And also, if you'd wanted to, if you want to make like little labels for things, you could even do that to give them like fun names, like with the olives. So now they say that they're eyes. So, oh no. Right. Use cheese that you like. We happen to do some mild cheddar. Cassandra made little pumpkins. We just had a little cookie cutter. We just took the cookie cutter, stamped it into the cheese, make little pumpkins. I did a lot with co cookie cutters when they were little for their lunches like through most of the month of Halloween, uh, October, I would cut their sandwiches in different shapes, tombstones, pumpkins, ghosts, and they'd have like a different sandwich every day, which was kind of cute. So cookie cutters are great for cheese. Um, or just cube it, you just know? Just cube it. You could get um, spreadable cheeses. Um, we have a grocery store nearby that makes the best spreadable cheeses. Um, they're like a Gouda mix and mm -hmm. they have all Jarlsberg and whatever. You get the Borson, mm -hmm. you can do Brie or Camembert, like whatever, whatever, whatever you, you want. Like. So we, we did a little of that. Um, I happen, I mean, we can put, want to put yeah, some yeah, of that. Kinda... So it's just kind of putting it in different areas on the board. Yeah, on the side. Um, some crackers. If yeah, you prefer sorry. breads, you could put bread. Um, we, we bought these, um, we like these little fancy crackers sometimes too, these little crisps. They're very light. They kind of remind me, um, kind of remind me of like a, like a wafer. wafer. Yeah, yeah. They're very light. Um, 
So these are kind of nice. They're very pretty. I'm just kind of doing yeah, like yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, do it. Doesn't matter. You could do whatever. But just kind of mix it up and have a nice, like, variety of, like, fruits, vegetables, cheeses, crackers, meats. Um, and that's all you need to do with that. Your <coughs> Yep. Oh, we got I some. Fell down. We got some cracked ones. That's a really easy way to elevate things too. Just remove the ones that are cracked yeah, or hide or hide know. them underneath. So see, they're very thin. These are great to snack on. Oh yeah. So we could put some down. Put it the end there. The end there. Yeah. Get some of these broken kind of ones out, out of the oh, way. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> use those. No. Those are great for later when those you just are, watch. When you're just, that's the other fun thing about charcuterie is you can snack as you go. Yeah. We also, um, we found little gherkins because those kind of, like kind of look spooky. So they're just like little sweet pickles. So, you know, you could put, I don't know, we could even put them on yeah, that one if that we want. There. Yeah. Get some of um, that. She's like, found this at Walmart. <laughs> Um, and you know, another great store that we use a lot of times to get charcuterie stuff is Aldi. Aldi. Mm -hmm. They have a great selection of things to make a board. Yeah. Really do, and affordable. So, and a lot of times, some of the same, we didn't get it this time. There's a cheese that we really love called Pour Salut. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like spreadable. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's really... I like it better than Brie. It's a, very, it's a soft cheese it's like a soft Brie cheese. though. Yeah. But they have really good at Aldi. But these, this is like wonderful. These it's just a, pinwheels. And they look fancy, you know? Doesn't like, it, I mean, it looks, here, I'll kind of show you if I can break them off. But see? They're just like they're just spirals. They're just like a spiral pinwheel. And you can just I put just those. I just that. Do you want me to No, I like it. it like it. Okay. So you could just put these on the board like that. Look, and you can make a whole row down there maybe. I don't know if you think we should do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's like good. That. Perfect. Um, so you're gonna add your color. We've got like some spooky um, Concord grapes. They're seedless, so you just kind of put those around. Um, you know, you can put little. Yeah, you know, want some peppers. Yeah. Kind of like that, maybe. Yeah. So we made it like more color themed. Mm -hmm. We also, um, yeah, some you some there. It? blackberries they're kind of spooky color you know they're black kind of put those in there darker yeah there you go we're gonna show you a cool trick with string cheese mm -hmm. you can make these into ghosts We've got so you take a string cheese go ahead just cut it from like here you cut at the bottom and you kind of string it out to make it look like like that and then just kind of and then uh, yeah yeah. You can just kind of tear it even. Tear them. Yeah, you could just pull them up. And then if you want eyes, just get some peppercorns. You don't have to eat them if you don't want to. And just pick them off. You could just pick them yeah. off. The kids find it really cute. You can put a couple of those in for eyes. And you can put those on your board. I think we should peel up more or? No, I like it like, like that. that. Good. Okay. See, and anything and goes. We'll just you don't kinda... have to. Yeah, I know. It's very much. What you also, what's do great are these little, um, these little mozzarella balls. They're fresh mozzarella. Here we go. There's See, look how cute. Little spooky ghosts. Kids love those too. So if you, you know, if you're gearing towards those, you could put a few on the tray. Ooh. Make another one of those. Yep. Um, so I'm going to take some of the, the little mozzarella balls, and you can make little ghosts or little creatures with those. You just kind of stick a couple of the peppercorns in. Right. If they'll stick in. Yeah, it takes a little bit. You got to force it a little bit. There you go. See? So you can put a bunch of these on the board. Um, yeah, I started one here. Oops, sorry. No, no. I'm just finishing the ghost. You finish the ghost. Give up the ghost. There we go. That's so we're making more little little creatures. There we go. Here's another one. Yeah, you just kind of shove those in. And the, you know, sometimes the more deformed they are, the better. <laughs> <laughs> and it depends on how many people you're having over, too. You, you can make, make this as big or as small as you want, yeah. I mean, there's really no, I, I don't know. Ah. I get a, a little annoyed, I guess, when people are trying to make it like this is this 
big deal. Oh yeah, it doesn't or when need you to go to a deal. restaurant and you order uh, it, and they only get like. Two. Jim and I did that once for our anniversary. We went to this nice restaurant. And we're like, should we get it? We never get it. And we got a charcuterie board. They're and we always spent disappointing. A fortune. Yeah, and it was like, what's the big deal about I this? I love these guys. The mozzarella balls are so much fun. <laughs> so look, they're these little. I don't know if you guys could see them from there. Yeah, put a little pepper here, yeah. and then, you know, you could fill it in. We got the grapes. We got the blackberries in the middle here. So pretty nice, and then got these baby these, bells the little baby bell cheeses that you see at the store they're wrapped in this wax so you just pull them out yeah you pull wanna... it out yeah yeah there you go pull it out and All then the okay. no you take them off and you cut in the middle you can make like yeah little... i thought you'd do like Oh, are you saying Oh, that? no, no, no. I, ah, do, I think I we do had different. different. See, we had different things in well, mind. Well, you do it your way. I could do no, it my no, way. No, no, yeah. Let's see what you... Here, let's see so yours. I was going to come up with making like a little triangle mouth out. Oh, okay. And look what you've got there. Like, like, Thou shall not be like named because of copyright. Evil, evil pellet eater oh, he's gonna video eat you. game. <laughs> I've so, been thinking like... Yeah, through, let's see your through idea. The, through the wax. Oh, okay. To make it like a little mouth. Oh, okay. Like little teeth. Oh, very good. You kind See? Of keep some of the wax on, but not all of it. We also have, you could buy, this is a great brand. Um, it's got three different kinds of Italian meats on it. Soprasata, prosciutto, Italian salami. You don't have to buy this. You could buy whatever you like. You could put ham. You don't have to put any meat. You really don't. It's completely up to you. Um, you know, Jim's not a fan of prosciutto. No, he can't stand it. I love the stuff. The it's Sancho good. It's really stuff. good. Yeah. All you do is you take it and you just take a few pieces and you just roll it, roll it out and roll it and put it on the, on the board. So you're kind of going... Just like that. You know, we could put a few between our ghosts there. Yeah. Put a few between the ghosts. And they're great with crackers. You could put some carrots. Um, one more thing I like to put on my board. You could put some dried fruit. A lot of times I will put some dried apricots or that kind of thing. I thought we had a lot of orange. Oh, that's so cute. See? Far more kind of like than I am that way. Far what were you more saving creative. a spot here? Um, no, we're good. Do one of those. Yeah, those guys here. Of course, and we're not joking. When Jim says, you know, when he endorses a sponsor, we do use the products. We love them. So here's our nuts.com. They have the best nuts, as you can see. It's almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> We've been snacking. Um, but I like to put nuts on there too because it offers a different texture. It's a different Tearing. Yeah. So we have some um, we have some almonds here. So we could put that on the board. You can like you know just put it on the end here. Anything goes. It really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So we can move that aside. Yeah. I'm almost finished can, with like this I guy said, here. You use that. You can just move and just kind of like balance it. We put the some crackers there. We could put some, um, like we have some wheat crackers. You could even put these. Just fill in your spaces. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? You can. Yeah, I was gonna put another one. Well, yeah, I was gonna guy. prop them up. Oh, okay, yeah. So you know, there you go. And you could put the spiders on here. Any way you can put one, like right in the in the bowl. In the bowl. Right on the edge. Yeah, coming up could decorate it further by putting your hands. You could even put one hand. All oh, the no. crackers the fell crackers down. Went. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter. You have a nice board. You can graze. It could be the highlight. It could be an appetizer prior to your main dish. Um, there you go. See? There we go. There you Voila. Go. I don't know if you could see it. We hope you can kind of we'll, we'll get it. We'll put a picture in we'll here. We'll put a picture up so you can, so you can see what it looks like. And um, there you go. Easy peasy.
And uh, hopefully you enjoy that. The charbouterie. Charbouterie. (laughs) Anyway, enjoy. Stay spooky. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.